In the beginning was the Big Bang. From that came everything. Galaxies, stars, planets, you and me. But how did it all happen? Wouldn't it be wonderful if you could just kick back and watch a movie of the life of the universe and actually see how everything unfolded? Well, thanks to a new scientifically accurate computer simulation, you kind of can. This is the illustrious program, the most advanced computer model of the universe. On a supercomputer, it took three months to run. That's equivalent to more than 2,000 years on your home computer. It was created by a large international team of astrophysicists. One of them was Boston's Paul Torrey. The illustrious simulation is our attempt to uh, simulate a slice of the universe from soon after the Big Bang until the present day. The program's made its mark around the world, including here in Melbourne. How impressive is this simulation? Well, I think, as you can see, it's incredibly impressive, and seeing really is believing. The illustrious simulation is really getting a lot of detail there that wasn't present in previous simulations. And it not only gets the detail, it models a huge chunk of the universe, a cube 350 million light years across that encompasses tens of thousands of galaxies. To appreciate why the simulation is so good, you first need to know a little about our universe's majestic inhabitants, galaxies. They're so beautiful, I put one on the lounge wall. This is the Sombrero Galaxy. Stunning, isn't it? But imagine it as an impressionist painting made up of billions of little dots. Well, each one of those dots is a star. There are about 100 billion stars in a typical galaxy, and there are many billions of galaxies in the observable universe. Space is really, really big. Our star, the Sun, is in the Milky Way. The Milky Way is uh, a spiral galaxy that actually is a fairly common galaxy within the, the local universe. We think that about 70% of local galaxies are uh, star-forming disks that have spiral arms of some sort. Star-forming is one of the key jobs of a spiral galaxy. It's currently happening in our Orion Nebula. This is an enlarged image of it taken by the Hubble telescope. It's a uh, pretty amazing facility. It is. You get to walk inside the Orion Nebula and see it in Hubble detail. And I can see a little uh, black smudge over there. What's that? So that black splodge is a solar system being born a new star being formed and a, a disk of dust and gas that's going to collapse and form planets. While our galaxy is a spiral, the other major type is elliptical. Elliptical galaxies are the largest galaxies in the universe. These galaxies are sort of football shaped or, or soccer ball shaped, and they don't really have much star formation within them. So why do galaxies come in these two very different varieties? To find out, brings us back to the illustrious simulation. It begins just a few tens of millions of years after the Big Bang. There were no stars or galaxies then, just a universe filled with gas made of ordinary matter and dark matter. Dark matter is invisible. It doesn't interact with the light, so we can't see it. There's lots of it, it holds galaxies together, um, but exactly what it is, what kind of particle it is, still remains uh, a mystery. But it does have gravity. In the early universe, a lustrous depicts dark matter as blue, and gravity causes it to gradually clump together, forming a vast scaffold for the ordinary matter galaxies to form around. It's in the high density spots the first galaxies appear. Zoom into one, and you see why Illustrious is so impressive. Incredible detail has been modelled, and realistic-looking galaxies have been produced. Here we're zooming in on one galaxy, which actually happens to have a lot of properties similar to our own Milky Way galaxy. We see that it has blue star-forming arms, and then it has an overall disk-like structure. And remarkably, Illustrious also produces the other kind of galaxies, the ellipticals. I think the most novel aspect of the simulation is the formation of both disk-like systems and elliptical systems side by side. That had been really hard to do in the past. Elliptical galaxies form from spirals, 
And this is when two massive galaxies collide together and they just essentially cause a train wreck, a gravitational train wreck, where all of the nice structures, spirals, everything like that, is just obliterated. And we find this slightly elongated structure forming essentially an elliptical uh, blob of light on the sky, hence the name. And to make things personal, racing towards us right now is the spiral Andromeda galaxy. It's traveling at 120 kilometers per second. It really is a Jaws moment. Uh, it's gonna take a few billion years, but there's a, a bit of a collision coming. When Andromeda collides with us, it could look a bit like this. What happens is that two galaxies first come close to one another, they go by for one first passage, and that's a very strong interaction that they have there. They're gonna come swing back towards each other and swash around a little bit. Remarkably, while the galaxy's structure changes completely, none of the billions of stars in either galaxy is likely to hit another because there's so much space between the stars. So when the two galaxies collide, the stars will actually pass by each other and there'll be very few collisions between the stars. It's unlikely that the Sun or even the Earth will be disturbed by this merger. Eventually, the stars come together and mix in such a way that in fact we can't distinguish the two galaxies from one another. At that point, our spiral Milky Way will have become an elliptical. To see another example of Illustrious' realism, wind time forward to about five billion years after the Big Bang. These bubbles are enormous outpourings of energy that spread matter from galaxy to galaxy. They come from supermassive black holes. Almost every large galaxy has a, a supermassive black hole. Our galaxy has a black hole that weighs millions of times the mass of the sun, and there's black holes out there that weigh a billion times the mass of our own sun. When some unsuspecting matter falls into one of these black holes, huge jets of energy shoot out. Illustrious actually allows us to visualise these gigantic bubbles spreading through the cosmos. Now, while the realistic details Illustrious produces are pretty impressive, perhaps the most convincing demonstration of its realism is a single picture. The Hubble Space Telescope took this picture of deep space several years ago. Those tiny splodges are entire galaxies. The code should have a separate Paul's team put a mock Hubble in their simulation sure. and took a virtual picture in their virtual universe. We gave our mock Hubble Space Telescope the same camera, the same lens size, and the same filters, so that the image should be really analogous to what's actually seen in the real Hubble Space Telescope image. On the left is the real Hubble image. On the right is the one from the mock Hubble. The two were extraordinarily similar. Illustrious shows we do now understand the basics of how our universe evolved. If you'd like to look at the full Illustrious simulation, go to our website.